name's Glenn Taylor, I'm the founder and CEO of Taylor James. Taylor James originally was a photographic retouching company working for photographers and in 1995 we decided to get into CGI. We've evolved over the last 12 years to now produce content for all advertising media. The benefit of moving into CGI was to take ownership of the creative process and it kind of opened a new world to us. We can often produce things in 3D that can't really be easily captured in lens. Over the years we've done lots of sort of liquid effects, creating terrain and obviously lots of work in the automotive field where CGI has become very established because of the costs of shipping round vehicles. And now we're constantly uh, looking to encourage our customers to move across to a more digital workflow because once we've produced the original base models they can reuse those across different media, across different uses and uh, different delivery methods now and into the future. If we're talking about an automotive client, for example, they can even start to do model year upgrades and facelifts on the digital model without ever having to cut a piece of metal. The industry is, is constantly changing. Clients' budgets are being squeezed and the timescales to project delivery are also being squeezed. So we need a pipeline where we can take any excess out of the process. So we're constantly looking at how we can customise software, customise the solutions to enable us to do these projects quicker and more cost effectively for our clients. So we have 3ds Max and Maya in-house. One of the biggest challenges for us is to get the client on board through the pre-visualisation stage. It's at a point now where we're almost making the piece before we've actually started the job. These days we often get pitches in and we've got like two or three days to turn something around. We know we're up against a lot of other great firms and I'm the guy who gets that job on the desk on a Friday night and then you're told that you've got to have something ready to show on Monday morning and you're juggling all the creative problems at the same time. You need the right software to get that result out the door. So, you know, 3ds Max has been really useful for trying things out, double checking, and, um, and you know, really help us get so much physically correct that in the old days depended much more on the craft of the artist. We like to give our artists the ability to just go off piece a little bit and create their own idents. There's things that we're trying to express there and communicate to clients that we can do that aren't possible just in 2D alone, whether that's just 2D post-production um, or compositing work. The, this Nair Lily project, um, I think like the biggest challenge was about this book flipping around turning pages and landing in this massive forest. And 3ds Max does give you a lot of fine control and the ability to actually create organic forms with some flexibility uh, to try stuff out. Being able to go back and adjust and try things out um, without too, uh, things being too destructive or too committed is, um, is really helpful. The projects that we work on tend to push the hardware to the nth degree. So we needed a hardware solution that would enable us to handle that data and move it around. And we found that AMD delivers that sort of performance. We've been working with AMD since we set up the studio. And the hardware is excellent price performance. And they've been on with delivering new technology and advances in graphics cards since we've been working with them. More and more clients need content provided throughout their whole media chain. How we combine our photography with our live action and with our CG, we're able to satisfy and deliver that need.